picking it out. There's a lot of independent guys out there right now, like uh, Cody Jinx, you know, out of Texas. Yeah. Man, he I just, know, man. He just, he is headlining Rodeo Houston. Headlining. Oh, man. That's and, amazing. And he sold out, I think, two nights in a row at Red Rocks, you know. And that is amazing, man. I love that. And and no local, well, no Nashville. You know, he's just it's a different time now. And yeah, he's got he's got yeah. a good team that he pays now. I mean, that's you know, that's really yeah. what it takes when you get yeah. that momentum. Exactly. I guarantee he's got his own promotion people too. Yes, he does. Sure does. And and you know what I tell you what happened. The um when country music started making a lot of money, it things started really changing. And I'll tell you, the greed became more evident. Yeah. You know, there's always been an amount of greed in any kind of thing that makes money. Sure. But, but it became more uh, in the open. I mean, people were doing things, you know, they called it good business. But what it was, was it was theft. Yeah. And, and what they've done, they forced people to become independent. And then the independents are coming with the stuff that we need to make it live again. Yeah. That's very so, good point. So it's doing its own bidding, you know? Yeah. Oh. And, and, and all along, the blame labels were too darn greedy to be smart enough to listen to people who knew. Yeah. Which, which were the creative people. Uh, yeah. And I might have been producers, might have been writers, may have been artists. But, you know, Wayland and Willie taught them some lessons, you know? Oh, did they ever? 